and uh, looks like we're going to get right into game now and it looks like it's going to be Hog, Genji and Zenyatta. So um, looking for the fishing hooks really at this point. Um, do you think we're going to see some good tokens from Genji flying to the air or is it just going to be uh, just some possibly. storm? Just see if I hit my Said. Mm. Oh, we're running a Doomfist Fight. on a Brigitte. Doomfist, of course, one of the most powerful heroes in the game right now. But uh, with a mace to the face, we never know what's going to happen, really. <coughs> Both Brigitte's will be keeping their shield bash before the Doomfist attack, no doubt. Looks like there's hard scoping. Are they going to lose the first Anna? Anna gets the first hit, but it looks like Armor Pack is coming in, keeping up with Mantle, taking quite a bit of damage in onto Little Trash. Um, <coughs> Now, are they going to be p playing the patient game and just trying to snipe them out or not? Looks like Broke still has to heal that Mantle. And Mantle's just waiting to Enemy get uh, his 70 health back. What's happening now? Mantle's just deciding. Mantle very dead bad at his healing now. Broke you needs to remember there's a lot of people on his team. Looks like Mantle comes in. Doofus comes in and gets out of his left. And looks like he's just going to take the down. And that's a huge pick for my beat now. Have the defense. Now have the... Uh, it looks like this is like going to be a few spikes we can take, looks like it's just going to be chasing, and that's it. 3-0 for the babies. That was an excellent initial sleep from the babies panel there. Three, which two, managed to bring one. down their Doomfest. With Fight. them, Moira Wrecking Ball. That is not a great deal of damage there. So but very divey on both sides. Very and just divey. Mm, they're going to switch spots most of the time, I think. That's what we're going to realize. Looks like they're gonna start pushing in. Uh, what's the game plan? Damage will come in from the Moira. All trying to go up to the damage. Moira fading out from both sides, trying to heal. And looks like they've already got the pick on the first Moira with their first aggressive push. And looks like Little Trash might be able to take this up. Looks like Hunter's gonna drop. It looks like Pro Genku is actually a pro ball player at this point. It seems he is. Good to take the plays from Little Trash. Please make sure. They get might be cool as quickly as possible though before things go awry. And it looks like Winter Phase is going to get run down. And it looks like this is going to be Little Trash oh. unless the miracle happens. But uh, two to two. There goes down. We are up. Might be still up 3 1. We'll still be happy. A few nerves being in the jungle now. Ooh, one. Now we've got a very interesting Fight. comp now with Ash, the Sombra, and the uh, Reaper coming in. So um, some are going to try and wreck havoc in the back line. I would say the best line for both teams to get would be to try and hack the enemy <coughs> Reaper. Yeah. Which leaves him very open to attacks, but looks like my bee's Sombra is going to flank. But a very hard flank. 
Yeah. Looks yeah, like uh, they managed to find the Ash. I think he managed to scout out the Sombra when she was revealed. Looks like he's gonna open the gauge. Yes, Ash brought the Castle Gate back. But uh, looks like it was already the pick. Now it's straight one for one. But Mantle's very low on the uh, little Mantle's trash very low And there's no healing. So Gengu's not second high anymore. He does have his life still. Oh, and the Dynamite just comes in and just absolutely wrecks it. Oh, the Dynamite from Aferna. And, and now, uh, now it's just up to Pro Gengu. Can he, can he 1v2 this? Here it comes. He needs to try and get some hits so he gets healing as quickly as possible. Brave gets the pop on both sides. Then they press the W. Oh, it's very close, very close. But, uh, no. no. Too much pro game to do. He did well in taking down Winterfey. But in the end, 1v2 is not a fight. You're able to to win. We are at two, match point for one, my B. They are up 4-1. Match point. Ooh, and now we've got the Tracer pick coming in. Alongside the Junkrat and the Soldier. So, despite no healing, Soldier does have his Barnic Field. Which so may be able to... Both teams will have a small amount of healing, but not a lot. And it's on a long cooldown. They need to make sure they use it well. The little trash seems to be a bit split up here. They jump down into the low ground, heading onto the central point. Might be keeping their distance and retaining the high ground. It looks like they're just taking this nice and slow before they push in. Looks like so they've put in the initial damage in, they and the Zara's really low. In. Getting healed up by the Barnet Field. Some good shots from Might Be Soldier. Trace the force to recall. And looks like they're starting to push in on the Pro Gengu. What is Pro Gengu, Gengu going to do? As well. Bomb starts coming in, and Rain can have it. Get They've the traded one for one right now, but it looks like Soldier is going to drop as well. And now it's all up to Junkrat. Can he pull it off? No, they don't think so. Well, Little Trash have got themselves a lifeline back into this game, where they need to win both of the remaining rounds if they want to win. We are once again at match points for Maybe. One, one win and, and they now go. we've got a very boring comp coming out. Uh, with May Wall, Orissa Shield, and the Immortality Field from Batiste. This could take a while. So I hope you guys are ready. Maybe go make yourself a cup of tea because uh, they're probably going to be contesting odd points for this. Yep. Unless we see the pick coming off first uh, from either side being too aggressive or just getting pulled off the map, for example. Might be taking up this high ground on the right hand side as a little trash. The both teams usually playing defensively. That was a pull from Winterfell there that wasn't really necessary. Mantle was already falling off the ledge there. And it looks like there was very good damage traded onto um, uh, maybe the map May, but um, just healed up very quickly by the Batiste and the uh, self heal. Looks like Paul's gonna come above the wall, but not a lot of damage coming in. And looks like now maybe he's gonna take point first. What's Little Trash gonna answer with when they come into point? Looks like they're going the for right hard side. rotate on the left. They've been pulled. Looks like Orissa's by herself and they need help. Walls come off to stop the damage coming in. Immortality comes out. Immortality field comes out for Little Trash. That's a cool damage they could have used later on and something my ball hope to press. And looks like the pool's gonna come in. Both pools and walls dropped. And what's happening? Oh, looks like there was a pull on the map off the map for the uh, for Little Trash's team and now they're down one member. Down and it looks one. like they got two, but there was a huge pull coming that in. Was a huge but pull there. Orissa just pulls it and maybe but just wins the map. But Maibi come out victorious as the their Arisa as the last person standing. That was a succession of crazy pulls there that took most of both teams off the map. <laughs> and now we're going to see this the player of the game from the Pro game. Gengu. In What's it going to be like? I think in that game, Little Trash held up some good resistance, had some good rounds, but in the end, Maibi clearly deserved their win there. Do you agree? Very true, very true. I think uh, hero play at the end was the Arisa with the pull on the two members and managing to clean Absolutely, up with the last yeah. one. And now we're going to be heading off to a small break. But